A lot of you ask how we power up these radios on the test bench without using emergency brake wire. Well, we use one of these, micro bypass. We're gonna show you how it works, so stay tuned. So there's a couple different ways that you can hook up your new Pioneer radio plug to get the menu system to come active. Things like Bluetooth and restore settings and other things aren't gonna function if you don't hook up the parking brake wire. Um, a lot of you just go, I grounded it and it doesn't work. Yes, because that's not how the Pioneer works. The Pioneer needs to see a pulse where it's on, off, on. And to make things even more exciting, it's actually a timed pulse. It has to see on, off, on with a delay. Cool, right? Okay. I know. So this company right here, Micro Bypass, makes this little guy right here. What we'll do is we'll put a link to their store on uh, YouTube. I'm not YouTube. eBay as well as Amazon. You can pick them up. They range between 15 to 20 bucks. It's all the same guy. Comes in a bag like this. All right. Well, you're going to get it. It's going to come with some instructions that no one ever reads. So it's three wires. You have a ground wire, which is black. You have a green wire, which is going, or, or green wire, which is the brake wire. And you have a blue wire, which is the remote turn on. So you're going to take your harness, and it's going to have a light green wire. It also is going to have a dark green wire that matches. Don't use that one. That is the left rear speaker positive. Um, you have a black wire and you have the blue remote turn on wire. These three wires right here. Okay. That's them. So now you're going to take these two here and connect them together. Obviously you want to strip them. This is just to show you. You're going to do this. And then you're going to do this onto here. But connect them. I'm just, this is a visual, okay? But that's, those are the three wires you're gonna hook up to. Once you've done that, it's gonna unlock the radio. So, what do we mean? We just so happen to have this radio right here, and we have one. Fernando, do me the honor of disconnecting the bypass. All right, so, go here into the menu, we'll scroll up, and we'll notice, whoo, all these are grayed out. Okay, we can't get into them. Go ahead and hook the micro bypass up. Notice it blinked twice. Now you can get into all these cool settings and do whatever you want. So you're going, I don't want to spend 15 or $20. Fine, that's cool, don't. No, yeah. really. Uh, if you don't want to hook, spend the 15 or $20, you can easily hook up a toggle switch. And what you're gonna do is when you turn the car on, you're gonna turn it off, you're gonna turn it on, you're gonna turn it off, you're gonna turn it on. Okay, take your time doing it. And what that'll do is that'll emulate what this cool little device is doing. Now, if you're like, forget it, I'm just going to hook up the emergency brake wire. Don't forget you hooked it up to the emergency brake wire. A lot of people do. And then they'll ask us, I can't get into these. And I'll go, did you hook it up to the emergency brake wire? And yeah, oh, yeah, hey, magically it works. Okay. Um, then another trick that uh, some people have had success with is hooking it up to the reverse wire. Uh, so that when you go from uh, Parking. park, you go through reverse to drive. As long as you do it in a timed fashion, it's going to separate that ground. It's not 100% reliable, and you have to go find a reverse wire. What was that? Yeah, not a fan. Just go by the bypass. Yeah, just by the bypass. Like I said, we'll have a link in the show notes. Um, that's it, real quick. That's all there is to it. Uh, simple, simple. Wonderful? Micro bypass, yes. All right, micro bypass. All right, so thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. As usual, have a great night. Thank you for watching. Bye. Yeah.